Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here with a new game demonstration that is out that was recently given to me and it is called Fossil Dinosaur Hunt. And what I like about this is instead of running around actually killing dinosaurs and stuff like that that don't really exist, you're actually a paleontologist and you go out, you collect fossils, you build skeletons and do all kinds of things that paleontologists do which some are interesting some are a little more mundane but honestly this is something that I really wanted to do at one time when I was a kid and as you can see you start out in a museum you see the Orthon Mimus and uh, those look like Allosaurus a Brachiosaurus as you can tell by its height, an ankylosaurus. As by the way, the, there's an armored dinosaur. They ha have almost a whole fossil, body and all, that they just recently discovered. But yeah, we start off here, and we walk over to this little thing, and everything gets started. It says your museum is starting to run out of free space, and you think you've started, huh? When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. Now, this seems a little silly, but what they do in the beginning of this is they're actually helping you get used to the controls. So to do that, they're having you do some little cutie things. But actually, I did this kind of stuff. I didn't actually use uh, dot to dots, but I actually drew them. Loved the dinosaurs. Of course, I'm not that great with drawing with a mouse. <laughs> yeah, the pen pencil was covering it up a little bit. And then you continue. It was one of the most exciting days of my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. Now what this does is this teaches you how to pick up rocks, examine them, you hold the left mouse button, and then you can throw them away when you find out that they're not of any use. But you can kind of get yourself familiarized with the movements here. But I'm going to go in here because I already know where the fossil pretty much is. It's further in. I believe... There it is. That's it right there. Yep. It looks like a tooth. I lost it six months later. <laughs> At the age of 14, nearly all I could think of was putting together and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. Again, we're getting with m movements here. Because eventually we're going to have to put together entire skeletons. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. Pretty straightforward. The highlights and everything, so simplicity. A 
Last but not least, the head of the Brachiosaurus. Now they're going to make you do a tough one. There's no manual, but I got the, a sketch at least. Let's see. See, that might be in the back. That's when you rotate it. So that you can get to the ones that you can't get to. There we go. That's all the legs. Now we got to get the spikes on. And the Thagomizer <laughs> of the Stegosaurus. Thagomizer was a term coined by Gary Larson of the Far Side, and to this day, paleontologists still use that to describe the tail of a Stegosaurus. Now it's time for real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just sheer knowledge and skill. Aha! I would imagine the head's right there, the T-Rex. Let's see. Not sure what part of the body that is, but let's try a different one. Well, let's grab a foot. At least we know where that goes. Let's see. The other foot. The tail. The arm. I don't think I can get to it. Let me try the other arm. Let's see, what is that? I can't really tell here. That's the tail. Okay, that's the other thigh, I think. Nope, it's body. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn him around. I can't get to him. There we go. Well, almost had it. There it is. Nicely done. Maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again? No. <laughs> I even won the local talent show once. They loved my Triceratops. A couple years later, the money, the money I got as a reward in that competition turned out to be an invaluable help. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group in a newspaper. Turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work at the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. I took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. This is the first hint. To dismiss, wait until the exclamation mark turns to an X, and then press key to close the message. You've got a message, press M to check it out on your tablet. Organization info. Welcome to the mining area. A few weeks ago, the miners came across something that appears to be dinosaur remains. We've managed to get the mine closed until the matter is dealt with. Given the fact that neither the workers nor the board of directors is happy about the lockdown, we have to act fast. 
The crew which was initially assigned to the case reports that the remains of are perhaps the bones of or, of ornithomima, Ornithomimus. That's a tough one. They had to leave, but according to their reports, the area is still rich in precious fossils. Your job is relatively easy. Head to the area marked on your map and leave no stone unturned. The area is marked on your radar as well, so you should have problems finding it. The off-road car parked nearby is fueled and ready. We hope your work will be fruitful. With your help, we should be able to finally complete the full skeleton for our new museum. The missing bones that we are looking for are a hip bone, a right arm bone, and a vertebrae. Okay. Okay, we're supposed to mark this if I'm not mistaken. Get into the car and go to the ex excavation site. Let's see, where's the car at? There it is. Okay. Toughest part of the game for me, guys. <laughs> I, as my wife says, I'm a terrible driver, so you're going to find out just how bad I am. Follow the pointer on the compass. Okay, we are going to go to the excavation area, which is this way. And this is some serious four-wheel driving here, guys, so we need to take it easy. Don't go too fast. Okay, looks like we've got a log blocking the way. Now, when you run into stuff like this, apparently you're supposed to get out a ch chainsaw <laughs> and cut it up. Oh, there we go. And cut it into pieces that you can manage. should stop cutting once you've got everything cut up enough. <laughs> Alright, now we get rid of this. Well, I can't drop it. Maybe I can't drop it over there. There it goes. You gotta kinda hit the right button when you get after it hits the circle hits. There we go. There we go. Now it's clear. Ah, shoot. Still one log in the way. We got over it. Sort of. Okay, there's slimy mud ahead of you. Press B to lock the differential. Okay. And turn on 404 drive to make your way through. Okay, looks like it's ready to go. Nice doing some mudding. All right, let's get that turned back off. How do you turn it off? Let's see. Differential lock turned off. 4x4B turned off. 
Yeah, because you'll use way too much gas. All right, let's see here. We're headed this way. Oh, whoa, 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 there's a rock in the way. Use a pickaxe to remove the stone. Okay, you gotta... Dang on, a lot of, a lot of things... Oh, okay, this way. Pickaxe number three. Break the stone into smaller pieces. Okay, do I need to move them or? Oh, they just disappear after a while. Okay. One last big piece. Is that it? Oh, there they go. There we go. I think we got them that time. Alright, back on the road, the rocks are disappearing. Alright, here we got another sign. Okay, we need to make a left, slow down a little bit. to have a four-wheel drive vehicle for this kind of crap. Okay, I think I have to pull in here. Let's see, where... Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, R will reset your vehicle. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, it just was that hard to get to. Okay, press that to secure the area. Once the circle is complete, we're going to throw a tent up. <laughs> You've got a message. Press M to check it out on your tablet. All right. Excavation workflow. We've got information that the perimeter is already secured and you can start the search right away. You're well prepared for the job. Your equipment is GPR you can use to scan the ground with. A shovel and plaster to secure your findings. Start your work with initial GPR scan. If you find anything, dig it out and secure it with plaster. You'll receive further instructions on possible transportation and future messages. Okay, so the f number four is the GPR. Find a good place for exploration and scan it with GPR. All right. And it looks like this is a pretty good size area. Let's see here. Yeah, when you get near something, it should... Oops, there's a rock. <laughs> Should show up as kind of like a glowing stone. Secure. Oh, scan the excavator site with ground penetrating radar. Okay, so far, nothing. Aha! There we go. You found an interesting rock formation. Press. LMB to use a flag and mark this spot. So left mouse button. Okay. 
Let's see if there's any others. Oh, well, there's another one there. A couple of them. Okay, I didn't mean to mark two of them there. Alright, I am going to continue checking around doing that. Find another one, I will bring you back. Alright guys, I have discovered that some of the stuff here on top, right in front of me, may be fossils. That, that is right there, and that is right there. I'm going to take a quick look at it here, if I can. Let me go ahead and go back to my shovel. Or my hands, actually. Let's see, we'll pick that up and we'll examine it. Press L and B and rotate to examine the rock. Kind of looks like different from the rest, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know. And I just tossed it. I guess it's not, but sure looked like it was something. So, here's another one here. Let's take a look at it. Nope. Maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's dig what we found. So, number five. Okay, there's the first of them. Aha! Yes, you found a fossil. See it right there? The finding... Skew the finding in plaster and check out the knowledge tab in your tablet. Use plastic to secure the fossil. Well, let's check our tablet first. Knowledge. Let's see. Ornithomimus bird mimic. Is a genus of Ornithomimid dinosaurs from the late Cretaceous period of what is now North America. Ornithomimus was a swift bipedal theropod which fossil evidence indicates was covered in feathers. Equipped with a small toothless beak and that may indicate an omnivorous diet. Like other Ornithomimids, Species of Ornithomimus are characterized by feet with three weight-bearing toes, long slender arms, long necks, and bird-like elongated toothless beaked skulls. Okay. And that's what we've excavated here. Alright. Any new messages? No. Any new notifications? No. So we just need to put plaster on it, and now we have a new option under six. Add plaster to our find. You've got a message. Press M to check it out on your tablet. All right. Fossil transportation. Once you're done with extracting and securing the findings, use your car to transport them and to, trans to the transport hub marked on your map. After you do this, Use your tablet to send them away to your museum. Okay. So we're going to continue looking at these just to make sure that we got them all. Because we're supposed to, I believe, get three of them. Eh, let's go ahead and pick this up just so we can follow it the way we're supposed to. But we got to take this over to the tent. There should be some crates. A couple of them here. Alright. Open the trunk and put the crate into the car. Well, let's go ahead and open the trunk up here. Grab the crate. Ah, huh, they even marked it so you can see what you're supposed to do there.
take the rock to the tent. Okay. Use R and B to mark the container transport spot on the map. Okay. Okay, so we gotta take it here. All right. Now I saw three crates in there and some other fossils, so I'm gonna go back and get the other fossils that we need to get. After which, we will head on to that transport site. Okay, this might be something here. Oop. Let's try to make this a little cleaner here. Okay, there's another one right there. And another one. Not all of these are fossils, though. All right, I think I already see one that has a fossil in it right there. Let me see here. Let me... Let's see. Yep. Definitely a fossil. So this one will plaster. Ah, shoot, I'm stuck. All right, let's see. Get this plastered up. a lot of plaster <laughs> okay it's good and back to the hands and we'll take it over here and put it in the next crate too bad you can't get them all at once some sort of way but eh, that's why they hire students to do this kind of thing well actually they don't hire us at all we're volunteer <laughs> still yeah, they get grants and stuff, so they don't get tons of money to do this kind of stuff. Let's put the second one in. Go ahead and close that. The third one goes on top. So, let's find the third one. Hey, Matt. Got turned around here. Is this it? Oh, it's over here. Got God. Really got turned around. Let's see here. All right. Uh, I don't think that's got a fossil in it. But this one. Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, let's. Well, let's get rid of these things. This is where throwing the rocks aside comes in handy. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> that is in multiplayer. You can throw rocks at each other. Yeah, these are kind of in the way. That's strange. Is there something to this rock? No. Okay. Let's see. Is there any more then? We need three. Ah, there we go. There's something. Uh, not seeing anything on there. No, still not seeing anything. Aha! There it is. See, it's pretty obvious. Okay, we found it. The third one. This should be it. Okay, let's drop it. Let's put the plaster on it. Pick 
it up and take it to the final crate. And then we put the final crate on top. Magically. <laughs> All right. So this is the way out over here. You just kind of walk, well, just drive forward, walk forward, and you can get out. Otherwise, you have to walk. God bless the dog. Otherwise, you have to walk all the way around. Let me go ahead and get in here. All right, let's try to get out of here without killing ourselves. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. Can't be just a simple straight line, can it? Okay, here's the crossroads. Mine office, that's probably this way. Yep, there's the dot, so this is the way we need to go. We're going to have to do the four-wheel driving again, again. Let's see. I think, uh, what was the differential? Oh, N. And then B for the four-wheel drive. There we go. Once we get out, let's turn the shift differential off, B, and differential lock off. Okay. Twisty turn. This is where we started, if I'm not mistaken. There's where the crates are supposed to go. All right, let's get out. Crate number one. Here we go. Gotta go to the map. Do you want to send the crates to the museum? Yes. Do you want to travel to the museum? Well, yeah, I would imagine.
Okay, cool. We're on our way. Okay, we are in the museum. I think we have already gone way, way over time on this. This was just our first look at the demonstration. So we're going to do the actual cleaning up of the bones and everything in the next episode. If you're interested in watching that, please come back and see that episode. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.